Hi, I'm Kelly Johnston with the University of Calgary, and we're here today talking to Lena Catan, our Urban Alliance Professor in Transportation Systems Optimization. Now, Lena, you're looking into self-driving or autonomous cars. Why is this important research? We're trying to examine the impact of autonomous vehicles, not only on safety, but on also uh, congestion and emissions. We're trying to focus on like some aspects of the impacts of uh, autonomous vehicles on the driving patterns and on traffic and also how can we exploit the data that can be collected from these vehicles. So are self-driving cars safer than real drivers? So when we talk about safety, we have to take various factors into consideration. So driver behavior is one factor, uh, the vehicular technology is another factor, and the driving environment is another factor. So with a self-driven car, the response time of the driver is shorter, and we have less distraction. The vehicle also, because it's equipped with more uh, sensors and cameras, it can sense the environment better. Lena, will self-driving cars solve our traffic problems? So we still don't know how and uh, to what extent. We need to understand how these vehicles are going to interact with other road users, such as pedestrians and cyclists. We need also to understand how they're going to uh, change uh, the trip making behavior and the trip choice. So how would they uh, change the demand for transit, also the pedestrian demand and safe cycling demand. If more people want to be in a self-driven cars, we're going to have more congestion. If more people are willing to use shared autonomous vehicles, we might likely have less congestion. However, we might be moving the congestion uh, hotspots to different locations. Thanks, Lena. You can check out our website to learn more about the research we're doing into major urban issues.